Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pane and watch video completely. If you find some very important, then pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have find any difficulties or problem, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. What the question says, four identical particles of mass, capital M, are located at the corner of a square of a side A. What should be their speed if each of them revolves under the influence of others' gravitational field in a circular orbit? Circumscribed the square. You have given four options. First option A, 1.35 root gm by A. Second option, 1.16 root gm by A. Third option, 1.2. 1 root gm by a and last d option is 1.41 root gm by a now you are well known about that gravitational force is applicable between only two rigid bodies okay there is no any impact of presence of the third body it means suppose a and b whenever we have talking about the ab only ab forces applicable to each other not impact of this third body so here we have taken let us take any point any rigid points right then suppose i have taken here b point then force applicable to point a then we can say that a b and similarly gravitational force due to the c point that uh, here b c and its resultant goes towards the direction of b d right then again Due to this D rigid body, this rigid point, again any forces is applied. So here two forces coincide each other. This principle, basic concept applying here. Okay. Now for the two bodies A and B, you know that we have given all the masses same. So therefore G, M, M and what is the distance between the A and B? That is A. Okay. So, so A square and similarly F of B C is again M M and A square means G M square upon A square. Okay. So, let me consider they are equal. So, therefore, we consider F. Now, using law of pilogram and now get the resultant force. So, what is the law of pilogram? F square f square 2 f into f and cos what is the angle between the square 90 degree so it is 90 degree this is the resultant first f1 and uh, it is 0 2 f square means f1 equal to f root 2 it is the first equation now we are going to find out f of bd Okay, f of bd. What is the distance between the bd a root 2 by using Pythagoras theorem? You know that very well. The angle between the two adjacent sides is 90 degree. So the distance is a root 2. Then g m m m into m into m. And what is the distance? a root 2 whole square. Then g m square a square and root 2 square means 2. It is the FBD. The net force, net force equal to F1 plus F of BD. What is F1? F1 is GM square A square root 2 plus what is the FBD? GM square 2A square. Then GM square A square get common. Then root 2 and 1 by here we get the net force gm square by a square into bracket root 2 plus 1 by 2 and what we have to find out we have to find out what should be their speed if each of them revolves under the influence of other gravitational field it means this net force is equal to the centripetal force what is centripetal force means the distance between the b and o 
here you have given that a root 2 is total distance and it's a half it's a half it means a root 2 root 2 root 2 2 times because root 2 into root 2 2 1 root 2 is cancel out 1 by root 2 so therefore distance of this point means r is given a by root 2 and what is the centripetal force mv square by r equal to this is net force equal to net force gm square by a square and root 2 plus 1 by 2 okay now substitute the value of r what is r a by root 2 equal to gm square a square root 2 plus 1 by 2 now this m and this m cancel out 1a and a square one of a's cancel out this root 2 reaches to the numerator root 2 b square gm upon a root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2 goes to the right side in denominator part root 2 plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 by root 2 then v square gm by a this is 1 and 2 root 2 is the value and uh, if you by solving v square gm upon a and rationalize this number root 2 root 2 then it become root 2 plus root 2 by 4 and uh, gm a <coughs> What is the value of root 2? 1.414 divided by 4. Then V square equal to GM by A. Overall calculation 1.35. And getting, getting the root V equal to GM by A 1.35. So root GM by A and 1.35. 1.35 and removing the decimal 135 by 100 you know that its root is between 11 and 12 okay 11 square is 121 and 12 is 144 so now we get its value is approximately 1.16 so here you can see that okay it is a shortcut tricks you can see that 135 12 square is 144, 11 square is 121 and its value is more than uh, 121 and less than 144. So, therefore, in between 11, 11.5 uh, 11 by 11.6. Okay. So, <clears throat> our answer is matches to the P answer is correct. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for staying till the end of the video and yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel that can get the link for the next video thank you take care and bye bye